study material for the Certificate of Fitness Examination F01 Fire Guard for Impairment, Citywide. Notice of Examination Examination for Certificate of Fitness for Fire Guard for Impairment, Citywide, F01. Date of Test Written tests are conducted Monday through Friday, except legal holidays, 8 a.m. to 2.30 p.m. Requirements for Written Exam Applicants must be at least 18 years of age and must have a reasonable understanding of the English language. Applicants must apply the exam in person and bring the following materials and required fee. 1. Applicant must provide two forms of identifications, at least one form of identification must be government-issued photo identification, such as a state-issued driver's license or non-driver's license or a passport. 2. Applicants must present a letter of recommendation from his slash her employer. The letter must be on official letterhead, and must state the applicant's full name, experience, and the address where the applicant will work. If the applicants are self-employed or the principal of the company, they must submit a notarized letter attesting to their qualifications. For more info. Sample of recommendation letter, see the description section for details. 3. Applicants must present a completed application for Certificate of Fitness, A20 form. 4. Applicants not currently employed may take the exam without the recommendation letter. If the applicants pass the exam, FDNY will issue a temporary letter with picture for the job seeking purpose. The C of F card will not be issued unless the applicants are employed and provide the recommendation letter from his or her employer. 5. Special requirements for F01 test, none. 6. Application fee, pay the $25 application fee in person by one of the following methods. Cash credit card, American Express, Discover, MasterCard, or Visa. Debit card, MasterCard or Visa. Personal or company check or money order, made payable to the New York City Fire Department, for fee waivers submit. Only government employees who will use their C of F for their work-related responsibilities are eligible for fee waivers. A letter requesting fee waiver on the agency's official letterhead stating applicant full name, exam type, and address of premises, and copy of identification card issued by the agency. A convenience fee of 2% will be applied to all credit card payments. Exam Information the F01 test will consist of 20 multiple choice questions, administered on a touch screen computer monitor. It is a time limit exam. Based on the amount of the questions, you will have 30 minutes to complete the test. A passing score of at least 70% is required in order to secure a certificate of fitness. Call 718 999 1988 for additional information and forms. Please always check for the latest revised booklet at FDNY website before you take the exam. See the description section for web address. Additional important notice. Current F92 certificate of fitnesses are valid and renewable. The F03, F04, and F92 certificate of fitness tests are available as a separate test. Renewal requirements. This certificate of fitness must be renewed every three years. The renewal fee is $15. FDNY also reserves the right to require the applicants to take a re-examination upon submission of renewal applications. You will receive a courtesy notice of renewal 90 days before the expiration date. However, it is your responsibility to renew your certificate. It is very important to renew your C of F before it expires. Renewal submitted 90 days, up to one year after the expiration date will incur a $25 penalty in addition to the renewal fee. Certificates expired over one year past expiration date will not be renewed. New exams will be required. To change a mailing address. Submit a letter requesting the change of mailing address and a copy of your C of F with $5 fee. To change a work location. Submit a letter from your current employer, on company letterhead, confirming that you are an employee and stating your new work location with a copy of your C of F and a $5 fee. To request a replacement certificate. 
submit a driver's license or passport, social security number, mailing address and a $5 fee. The certificate can be renewed online, by mail, or in person. Renewal online if you are an individual, make sure you have your 12-digit certificate of fitness access ID. This can be found on your renewal notice. If you do not have your renewal notice, your access ID is your 8-digit certificate of fitness number and the last 4 digits of your social security number. If you are submitting renewals on behalf of a company's employees, the company must be approved by FDNY and have an 8-digit company code. To request approval, see the description section for email. Renewal fee can be paid by one of the following methods. Credit card, American Express, Discover, MasterCard, or Visa. Debit card, MasterCard or Visa. E-check. Fee exempted applicants cannot renew online only by mail or in person. If all the requirements are met, the certificate of fitness will be mailed out within 10 days. For online renewal see the description section for web address. Renewal by mail. Mail your renewal notice, or if you did not receive a renewal notice, a copy of your certificate, along with your fee payment, personal or company check or money order, made payable to the New York City Fire Department, for fee waiver submit, only government employees who will use their C of F for their work-related responsibilities are eligible for fee waivers. A letter requesting fee waiver on the agency's official letterhead stating applicant full name, exam type, and address of premises, and copy of identification card issued by the agency and if applicable, supporting documents to NYC Fire Department, FDNY, Cashier's Unit, 9, Metro Tech Center 1st Floor Brooklyn, New York, 11201. If all the requirements are met, the certificate of fitness will be mailed out within 4 to 6 weeks. Renewal in person. Submit your renewal notice, or if you did not receive a renewal notice, a copy of your certificate, along with your fee payment by one of the following methods. Cash. Credit card, American Express, Discover, MasterCard, or Visa. Debit card, MasterCard or Visa, personal or company check or money order, made payable to the New York City Fire Department. For fee waivers submit. Only government employees who will use their C of F for his or her work-related responsibilities are eligible for fee waivers. A letter requesting fee waiver on the agency's official letterhead stating applicant full name, exam type, and address of premises, and copy of identification card issued by the agency and if applicable, your supporting documents to NYC Fire Department, FDNY, Cashier's Unit, 9, Metro Tech Center 1st Floor Brooklyn, New York, 11201. If all the requirements are met, the certificate of fitness will be issued the same day. A convenience fee of 2% will be applied to all credit card payments for original or renewal certificates. Exam site, FDNY Headquarters, 9, Metro Tech Center, Brooklyn, New York. Enter through the Flatbush Avenue entrance, between Myrtle Avenue and Tech Place. See link to map in the description section. Study material and test description. About the study material. This material will help you prepare for the examination for the Certificate of Fitness for Fire Guard for Impairment. The study material includes information taken from the New York City Fire Code. This study material consists of two parts. The exam covers the entire booklet and any tables. It will not be provided to you during the test. It is critical that you read and understand this booklet to help increase your chance of passing this exam. The study material does not contain all of the information you need to know to work as a fire guard. It is your responsibility to become familiar with all applicable rules and regulations of the City of New York, even if they are not covered in this study material. In order to adequately prepare for the exam, you need to be familiar with the Fire Code Section 401.3, 408, 901 and 906, see Appendix A, and the NFPA 25 Chapter 14, 2002 ed., which regulate the duties of fire guards for performing fire watch when any required fire protection system is out of service. 
about the test. 20 questions on the certificate of fitness examination are of the multiple choice type with four alternative answers to each question. Only one answer is most correct for each question. If you do not answer a question or if you mark more than one alternative your answer will be scored as incorrect. A score of 70% is required on the examination in order to qualify for the certificate of fitness. Read each question carefully before marking your answer. There is no penalty for guessing. Sample questions. The following questions represent the format of the exam questions, not the content of the real exam. 1. Which of the following are allowed to be used slash displayed while taking a certificate of fitness examination at 9, Metro Tech Center? I cellular phone. 2. Study material booklet. Ill. Reference material provided by the FDNY. 4. MP3 player. A. 3 only. B. I. 2. And 3. C. 2 and 4. D. I only. Only reference material provided by the FDNY is allowed to be used during certificate of fitness examinations. Therefore, the correct answer would be A. You would touch A on the computer terminal screen. 2. If you do not know the answer to a question while taking an examination, who should you ask for help? A. The person next to you. B. The firefighters. See the examiner in the testing room. D. You should not ask about test questions since FDNY staff cannot assist applicants. You should not ask about examination questions or answers since FDNY staff cannot assist applicants with their tests. Therefore, the correct answer would be D. You would touch D on the computer terminal screen. 3. If the screen on your computer terminal freezes during your examination, who should you ask for help? A. The person next to you. B. The firefighters. C. The examiner in the testing room. D. The computer help desk. If you have a computer-related question, you should ask the examiner in the testing room. Therefore, the correct answer would be C. You would touch C. You would touch C on the computer terminal screen. Introduction. This material outlines New York City Fire Department, FDNY, guidelines for fire guard performing a fire watch. This happens when a required fire protection system is out of service. Fire guards are required to inspect the areas in which the fire protection systems are out of service for fires. Responsibility of the building owner The building owner or their agent shall give an impairment coordinator all the necessary documents. That may include records, tests, servicing and other items relating to maintenance of fire protection systems. Such records shall be kept at work for a period of three years and made available for inspection by any member of the FDNY. In absence of an impairment coordinator the building owner shall act as the impairment coordinator. Requirements In any occupancy, where a required fire protection system is out of service, a fire watch shall be maintained. Fire watch can be maintained by one or more persons holding an F01 or F32 or F36 or F91 certificate of fitness for fire guard. The fire guard or guards is or are required to be immediately available when the system is out of service with the following exception. For the initial four hours of an unplanned and planned out of service condition when the affected area does not exceed 50,000 square feet. The impairment coordinator or a trained and knowledgeable person who is capable of performing fire watch duties and is designated by the building owner may perform the duties of the fire watch. The impairment coordinator or a trained and knowledgeable person designated by the building owner should begin conducting a fire watch in the area where the fire protection systems are out of service. After four hours of an out of service condition, such patrols shall only be conducted by fire guards holding the F01 Certificate of Fitness or a valid F32 or F36 or F91 Certificate of Fitness. The number of fire guards depends on the location and the size of the area affected by the out-of-service fire protection system. A fire guard should be available to patrol all areas in which the fire protection system is out of service at least once every hour. 
no individual fire guard should patrol more than 50,000 square feet of building floor area. If coverage area is over 50,000 square foot more than one fire guard should be assigned. See the description section for diagram. The fire guard duties should be on a 24 hours a day basis. Duties should continue until the systems are restored to good working order. In some cases, fire department workers may be on scene to give directions. Such as the number of required fire guards or other fire protection measures that may be required. Special requirements for construction site. The fire watch requirements at construction site will depend on whether the fire protection systems have been installed and approved yet. No impairment coordinator or fire watch is required before the system is installed and approved. Installed and approved means that all required approvals for a full or partial installation have been obtained, including all sign-offs from the Department of Buildings. The construction site fire safety manager should be designated to be the impairment coordinator if any installed and approved fire protection system is out of service. Unless the building is vacant, a fire watch must be maintained until the system is back to service. The fire department has posted guidance on its website explaining the impairment coordinator, fire watch and hot work requirements when fire protection systems are out of service on construction sites. This guidance is attached as Appendix B. The Certificate of Fitness holder must keep the Certificates of Fitness readily available for inspection by any representative of the fire department. This should be done at all times while conducting or supervising the material, operation, or facility for which the certificate is required. The fire guard for impairment is recommended to be familiar with the types of fire safety evacuation plans for the buildings where they provide fire watch. They should also be familiar with the associated staff available to implement the fire plan. The fire guard must be aware of his obligations for notifying the fire department in the event of fire, FC Chapter 4 Section 401.3. Further information is available at Emergency Planning and Preparedness, FC Chapter 4 Section 401.3 and Section 408. Fire Protection System, FC Chapter 9 Section 901 and Section 906